how could I say something that I want to say now back then? You know what I mean? You can't. Like, I'd have to say it now. And I'll never get a chance to. That's tragic. Is there a specific scenario you're thinking of? Yeah, my brother. My parents lied to us our entire lives. And uh, my parents bullied my brother into committing suicide. And I'll never get to tell them I'm sorry. But I didn't know that they were lying to me. And they were using me to argue with them. You know? The I wish I would have told my brother I loved him and that he had a community that cared about him beyond his drug problem before he died of a fentanyl overdose. I wish that I had told my brother that I forgive him. Um, my brother caused a lot of bad things that were associated with his substance use disorder and then he died of a fentanyl overdose. And I think in my heart I know that he knows that I love him, but I wish that I had told him that I forgive him. Um, I wish I would have told my brother that it's not our fault that he's so angry and it's not our fault. I wish I would have told my brother to love his two children and not hate them or push them away. Something I wish I said but never did. Hmm. Like, when I be going around town, you know, I just be chilling here and there. I be seeing a beautiful woman. I be so scared to talk to her because, like, I don't know how to explain myself, you know, and try to get to know the girl. What makes me nervous because she was just so beautiful. You know, like, I just can't talk to I, It's hard for me to talk to cute, cute women, you know? I get nervous. They make me smile. I can't, I can't think right. That's really why. Is this, so, is this in general or is this, like, one specific person you're thinking of? Shoot. It's one specific person. If you had the chance to talk to her, what would you have said? I would ask her how is her life going, you know, how is she doing, stuff like that. I would have told my high school computer science teacher who was like really old um, that she's cool and that I'm sorry for disrupting class. Why do you think that came to mind? Like why? I don't know. I just thought of her and I've never thought of her, but she was probably like one of the nicest teachers I had and that was probably one of the coolest classes that I got to take, so. I wish I said F you to a bunch of people. <laughs> um, it's something I've never said to anybody and there's people in my life that have been in my life that definitely deserved a F you. So I wish I would have said that to them. What stopped you from saying it? Being the cool girl, the chill girl, being too nice. And um, yeah, basically that, I just, I never was, I never ex expressed anger. I let people just stay in my life. <laughs> I wish I would have said sorry more often. It's okay if you're not okay. When did you stop loving me? I wish I said I love you one last time. I wish I would told my son I loved him more before he passed away. I love you. I love you. I'm sorry. And I love you. I love you, Dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he left when I was younger. But, you know, I gained peace with myself on that. I forgive him. And I love him. So, yeah. I wish that on December 3rd, in 1999 that I had told my mom goodnight and that I loved her because the next morning she um, went into a coma and didn't wake up and I've always wished I'd said that. I love you. I've met several people in my life that I really did love okay but I just wasn't uh, brave enough or mature enough to just go ahead and take the risk of saying it. You know lots of times I don't think we really communicate how much somebody means to us, you know, we're just a little scared. You know, nearly everybody is wearing a facade. To, some are just wearing it to a greater degree. In other words, really showing people what you really, really are and how you are vulnerable. Being vulnerable is, is what we're fearful of, I believe. So how about now in your life? Do you tell people you love them? Exactly, for sure. And I tell them when I don't like them. I will tell you the truth now or what I think is the truth. If the truth is it as I perceive it. 
I'm feeling pretty sad right now. I lost my mom on Friday and uh, I came down to the beach so that I would be close to her. You're the best mom ever. That's what I would have said. I think we were meant to meet today, huh? Right? I think so. Um, I wish I had said to my best friend that um, I actually liked her. But okay. she left. I don't know, I was, I was just nervous. To her. Um, I don't know, she was really pretty. Um, she made me feel welcomed. And I didn't feel um, nervous around her. Uncomfortable. I just felt nice with her. Uh, the week before my dad died, I was playing the piano at home and he came in and told me how proud he was of me and I was being silly and I made like a kind of silly joke about like, ew, gross, and I always wish I had just said thank you and we've had a nice moment. Something that I wish I could have said was to one of my friends when I was a teenager. He uh, died in a car crash our senior year of high school and I, it's, it's kind of funny, but like I owed him $20. So yeah, I just wish I could see my friend, tell him, hey man, here's 20, let me get you a cup of coffee or something like that. But yeah, I, I wish I could just tell my friend goodbye. Something that I recently wished that I had said, but hadn't yet was I have this group of friends that I really like them all and I've known them for a year now. And it took me literally an entire year to like ask them to hang out individually. I think I just thought it'd be awkward, like it'd be a weird thing to ask. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, I shouldn't do it. It's easy for me to just not do things, I don't know. Especially if I feel shy or something like that. I just realized like I want to be closer to these people, so I have to just make the effort. And I finally did yesterday, so I feel really good about that. And you're hanging out with them today? Yeah. <laughs> I wish, instead of saying I do, I wish I would have said I don't on my first marriage. You were married again, but on your first marriage you wish you had said that. Uh, oh, I'm not married at the current moment. Probably never will. <laughs> Wrong hand. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh. Yeah. First time it, she was, was so young. I was very young and foolish and didn't really know who I was marrying or what I was getting into. And he was a bum. <laughs> Yeah. And the second one. Oh, and the second husband, yeah. And they were both named Philip. <laughs> I should have learned from the first Philip. Um, <laughs> biggest thing I've learned from marriage. <laughs> um, to not do it again. But I suppose it, it works for some people. Um, yeah. I think when children are involved. When children are involved. Yeah. Mm. Well, it all depends on who the father is, though. But would I, at this ripe old age, I don't think I would marry again. I don't see any, um, any point to it. We're old enough where marriage was expected at a certain age. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this generation, yeah. luckily, yeah. aren't expected to necessarily get married. Yeah. When we were children. young, I mean, to be, uh, oh my God, to be pregnant and unmarried was a shameful thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ruined your life and your children's life. Do you have the same outlook as your, your friend here? My sister. Your sister. Uh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah we're sisters. So That's a, you're just actually body. you're only interviewing one person. <laughs> yeah. I've been married twice. Mm -hmm. Second um, husband. Second husband. And it's working. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I personally don't think you should be allowed to be married before 35. You, you don't know what you're doing. God, you don't. Yeah. You can't really decide. You have a difficult time picking out clothing or alone a husband. Right? <laughs> yeah. When I first was going to get married in my first marriage, I remember probably not as old as I thought she was, but an older woman, elderly woman, she was probably 40 or something, <laughs> telling me, and she said, well, just think of it this way. It's like finding your favorite meal and then eating it for the next 60 years. <laughs> Get tired of it. Yeah. Right. Any ending thoughts for your segment? I would say, if it isn't working out, leave, bail. If the effort outweighs the pleasure, it's time to move on.
it's like a bad date. You don't keep going on the same bad date, right? Mm. Well, yeah, don't marry anyone named Philip. <laughs> I, I did it twice. <laughs> well, what do you think of marriage? Um, that's a good question. Come on, let's turn the camera around. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll answer, but uh, let me see. What are my thoughts on marriage? Or what are the benefits of marriage? I, um... Or can you see any benefits of marriage? I think it's beautiful. I do believe that, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm like a sucker for love. I do yeah. believe oh, that, yeah. like, oh. if so you... So was I. <laughs> <laughs> You're young. <laughs> yeah. Um, I do, I do believe in finding someone and, like, and it, 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 the whole like the the thing you said about like finding your favorite meal and eating it every day <laughs> I'm personally the type of person where I could eat my favorite meal every oh, day okay. so like I guess it just right. depends on you yeah I could see myself falling in love with someone and like never getting bored of them but I also get your perspective too maybe I'm just naive you know no a, a romantic and that's a wonderful thing to be it's yeah. just great <laughs> yeah Hi everyone, thank you for watching. I'll be posting bonus footage from this episode on my Patreon. That means more answers and extended cuts of each answer. If you want to see it, you can sign up. I'll have it linked in my description. And if I ever do follow-ups on the people you see in this episode, that'll be on my Patreon as well. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all and I'll see you next time.